monster to enter the city. Some of my own children have betrayed me. I am rarely an angry god, but this time there shall be a reckoning. Rage consumes me. The moorborn invade my home, they attack my children, they attack me. You have proven yourself loyal and capable. I call upon you to serve me once more. The moorborn penetrated the temple and opened a portal into oblivion. Even now, a Daedra swarm within its hallowed halls. Such sacrilege must banish the Daedra that defile our temple. Defeat them, and then make your way to my altar. While you slay their minions, appearance the more you shall hear.
praise to the three. I sense the temple is free of the Daedric incursion. We are well pleased. While you fought for my glory, I learned more about our foes. Magistrix Vox used Daedric magic to split the seams of the wards around the High Chapel. Then she opened an oblivion gate to fill the temple with Daedra. Vox seeks to desecrate the temple, steal our holy artifacts, and then loose Daedra upon Mournhold. If you need to get into the Without the blessing of each of the three, no mortal may pass through the wards and enter the High Chapel. Go to the cloisters of Vivec. So the seal values intelligence and ingenuity. He builds, he maintains, he is the master of his creation. So the seal has devised a test that allows him to learn more about you each time you complete it. You are to repair one of his clockwork toys and then break it. All gears turn like the hurling disc. All artifice is ephemeral and at times Parts are of more use than the whole. There, divine wisdom. Does that satisfy you?
Your reason surpassed the Arbiter's trap. In doing so, you've revealed yourself to us. You do not fully comprehend. Such is your imperfection. We are the imperfection of Sothaseel, excised from his being, yet never truly apart. We measure the indulgence of inspiration against the necessities of progression. You will never know. You are not Sothaseel. Perfection can never truly be attained. By testing one's constantly degrading mechanism against this unknowable goal, you reveal the imperfections of your own device. Can you accept this necessity? For comprehending the necessity of imperfection, you have earned the blessing of Sotha Seal. Vivek's trial will measure your clarity of judgment. He saw our blessed people through vexing times. His wisdom reveals the secrets others keep. So shall yours be put to the test. Vivek's teachings often take the form of allegories and tales. His lessons are learned by listening and then acting. His challenge exemplifies that approach. You must listen, then act. A temple worker named Varman dueled Belron and Telvani, slaying him before witnesses. But Varman was a loyal spy. To incite such discord was against his nature. As Vivek did, speak with Varman. Determine who truly slew the Telvani. My lord Vivek, I bear the most grievous news. Belron and Telvani challenged me to a duel of blood. I regret to say, I won. It was a small cut upon the arm, enough to settle the matter, but he fell dead. I was advising Tolnus and Galtza when the others arrived, Belronan full of anger, Fenila a sneer on her lips, and Morami resigned to what came next. Belronan claimed I'd interfered in his affairs. He insisted I knew what he meant. Of course not. I told him so, but he claimed it a lie and challenged me to a first blood duel. Then everything turned to death. My blade ended his life and directly caused his turmoil. I willingly submit to your judgment, Lord Vivek.
Your word is unquestioned. I am here to command. Though my blow caused Belronan's death, it was set in motion by another hand. I will aid you in discovering the source of this duel, if you will it. Lord Vivek, Varman should be dead on the floor. Balronin wouldn't share the note that Temple Netch sent his way, but assured me its contents were vile. One sworn to the temple, quibbling over coin. You should kill him yourself, my lord. A tragedy, Lord Vivek. Balronin's death in the temple brings great shame to his house. I had thought reasoned words could dissuade him from the duel. Such temper is common to House Telvanni, but it's not my place to question their reliability. Fenila lent Belronin her blade before the duel. I insisted Varman and Belronin swap weapons. You'd think she was Ash Mountain the way she fumed. Lord Vivek, I was here when Belronin issued his challenge. He would still live if not for Fenila. She stoked the Telvani's rage, urging him not to back away from an insult to his honor. She called herself his friend. Curious way to show it. Lord Vivek, Varman should be dead on the floor. Belronin wouldn't share the note that Temple Netch sent his way, but a short... Morami sold me poison yesterday. I'd plan to hunt cliff races next week. My lord, the life of one such as Varman bears no comparison to Belronin Telvani. Yes, I sought to root corruption from the temple by poisoning that pile of scrib jelly. I'd do it again. walked in our skin and wrought our judgment. You exposed the lie at the core of all truth. This may be lost on you. It does not matter. We are echoes of Vivek. Nothing more. All things less. Both. Through your wisdom and judgment, you have earned Vivek's favor. Receive our blessing. You're too late. Vox has the artifact. The judgment of Veloth is hers. I may fall, but you are too late to stop Magic Fix Box. <laughs> she will destroy you all!
I felt a burst of power from the temple and ventured within, fearing the worst. But you've prevailed. What have you discovered? I will discover what powers the judgment of Veloth possesses and why Vox has stolen it. In the meantime, you must pursue Magistrix Vox. For your heroism and service this day, I name you a Hand of Armalexia. Go with my blessing upon you. As Vox fled Warlord, she went east. With the recent troubles, the Ordinators are on high alert. One of them saw her headed that way. To the east of... You have a headset to talk? I know you want to help the Nord Cultural Exchange. Hail! I am Rigert the Brash. I lead our glorious expedition for Nord Cultural Exchange to the Dark Elves. Excuse, please, Dunmer. The proper term for puny ones is Dunmer. Small, I mean, uh, not puny. Must remember, talk slower and louder. 
let me start over. I am Rigert. We are brand new diplomats, here to learn about Dark Elf way of life, and spread word about our glorious North culture. Such knowledgeing will strengthen our alliance. Badly. The Registrar makes us wait by this giant smelly toadstool while our gifts of culture, art, and religion gather dust. How about you take these gifts for us? Ah, good, you Dark Elf. Thanks. Clothing. Fine raiment here. The finest in Mournhold. Hmm. I prefer gold. But what have you got? What's that odor? Have these ever been washed? Wait. This is baby mammoth fur. It's illegal to export it. You know, in the name of cultural exchange with our allies, I might have something to trade. Baby mammoth fur! The great house nobility will go mad for this. Here, take these display pieces. They were made with my experimental dyes. Makes the colors nice and vibrant.
Such terrible slaughter. I was so not ready for this. Tribunal, save us! Help? It's too late for that. We were caring for the afflicted when the Veriansu attacked us without warning. They killed everyone in the Muthna monastery and set everything on fire. They threw people into the flames. They're heathen Ashlanders outside the light and protection of the Tribunal. I can't bear to think about it anymore. If you really want to help, find Healer Senar. He's gathered a few of the survivors outside Muthna, away from the... Things are in some disarray here at the monastery. Did you need something important? I don't know what to tell you, stranger. Have you seen what's happening here? Did you bring arms and armor, or maybe some... That's an animal heart, like from an ox. What am I supposed to do with a dried ox heart? Patience, patience. I suppose you want something in ex... The three have taught us. Fulfill your rights and duties. Here, take this loaf of stale bread. Tell them it's the holy loaf of... Oh, I don't know. Make something up. Exaggerate. Nords like that. The destruction. The loss of life. This slaughter was totally unnecessary. We were set upon by the Veriansu, a tribe of heathen Ashlanders. They attacked Muthna, this place of healing and refuge, killing monks and afflicted alike. We're a simple order. We use the tear of Saint Veloth to help those afflicted by the Lodos Plague. I gathered as many survivors as I could, but the very Ansu have taken captives. They tossed them into burning buildings. Our leader, Dolril Belvane, is still in there, searching for survivors and trying to protect the tear of Saint Veloth. I'm worried about Doril Belvane. Without his spiritual guidance in this time of tragedy, I fear our order will crumble. Still, he and Veloth shed the... I don't know. Violent un... All the time, if you must know.
I see cunning in your eyes and smell blood on your weapon. But if you're a very Ansu, I'm a bloated netch. What brings you to Muthna? Ela Senar worries too much. I never ran from a battle in my life, and I ain't about to start now. The very Ansu. Bah! They fear the Lodos plague. Their solution is to capture our monks and the afflicted alike and toss them in the fire. I won't stand. That's the spirit. If it's quiet to the east, run west, I'll... Come, child. Let's get you to safety. The medallions. Oh, thank you. If you succeed, bring the medallions to me, north of Muthna. Oh, shoot me. I was broadcasting with no voice at all. I'm sorry after a freaking minute. This is only G. Now I was talking and babbling and the mic was on. I mean, the mic was off. That's why it's like, oh, I had this. Okay, I had to collect six of those. Okay. I got two. I have to rescue the bitch. Thank you for saving me. I knew Dolro would send help. Yeah, of course. I'm the freaking hero of the story.
I got two. I need two more and I'm happy. I don't need. Oh my goodness. Three for the price of one. need a shield let me go to the healer and I have to rescue companions What are you trying to do? <laughs> now I say I bear not to. later on I don't know what game I'm gonna play I'm thinking about playing Final Fantasy but I don't know what I'm going to do I have to be away from it because that's not the area that I have to find Yes, I have to. Thank the tribunal. He was getting so hot in here. Of course, it's getting hot in there. Did Dolrin send you? Okay, let's go. Okay, another guy. There they are. I wish I could make them pay for what they've done. Another one? Another quest. Yeah, I'm still looking for it. Thank you, Kelsey. You're becoming very good at this, aren't you? Oh, that's the zombies. Oh, yes, lovely. Ready to take a quick break.
Because it's so freaking cold. No, oh, the house is getting warm and I have to do some other stuff. Hi, Bert. Bell. Blech. Blech. Okay, there's another... No, I think I need attention. I need attention! I definitely need attention. Now they're gone. But it was a nice adventure going like around night in the middle of the night. I mean, not in the middle of the night, but in the middle, in the early things of the morning. Oh, shoot, that's noisy. I gotta let them die, fuck. Yeah, I think that's the last one. Okay, after that, I'm gonna take a quick break. Thanks, the tribunal. It was getting so hot in here. Okay, I need one more. Oh, there we go. Praise Vivek. Did Doril send you? Thank the tribunal, I found you. You must hurry. Dolo will be dead. And the rest. They tie him. I'm leaving before something bad happens to me, too. Okay. I'll be right back in like uh, five to ten minutes. So. You should log on and find me at twitch.com slash. Only June 1973. Also, do a donation, make a pledge at my Pantheon.com slash for fun series and my YouTube channel uh, for fun series also. I'll be right back in like 5 to 10 minutes, so uh, you can come back in there. <laughs> 